Hello, Southern California. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria from the National Weather Service here to discuss a heat wave. Yes, fall Southern California style, which will impact our region through the duration of next week as we head into October. Let's take a look here at our six-day hazardous weather outlook day by day. On Saturday, we're painting green, no impact, sunny, seasonably warm, very nice day. Sunday, you notice the orange moderate potential impact, and then we highlight red on Monday. What's happening is an upper level high will be building across really the entire western United States, an expansive ridge. And that's going to lead to building heat and fire weather concerns here in Southern California. Do you know our vegetation, the fuel moisture, is at record lows in some cases? It's a tinderbox out there. So when we're dealing with the hot, dry air and then you start to bring in that wind, uh, very much leads to critical fire weather concerns. And we did issue a fire weather watch for Monday. That's when we think Santa Ana winds will be strongest. We think it'll be weak to potentially moderate. What does that mean? Uh, gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour below our passes and canyons. So places like the eastern valleys of San Diego County, places in the foothills like Alpine Points North, um, up through eastern sections of the Inland Empire, are there in that fire weather watch? That's where we could have critical fire weather conditions. Combination of very hot temps, uh, very low relative humidity to about 10%, and those gusty Santa Ana easterly winds. That risk is highest on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we start to weaken those winds. We think we're still watching just how fast the winds will weaken. We still could have some Santa Ana winds blowing Tuesday. Stay tuned. But we do think right now they'll weaken a little bit on Tuesday, especially by Wednesday and Thursday. We kind of lose the Santa Ana winds, but the heat and dryness really stays in place for the area and will last through the duration of next week. And that creates an enhanced fire risk inland areas. Uh, the coast will continue to be modified by the marine layer. Uh, but even there, you're going to notice the heat building. Like beaches start in the 70s, but then by the middle part of next week, even the beaches will be well into the 80s. Uh, what about those inland locations? Areas like the Inland Empire, Inland Valleys of San Diego County, Escondido, Ramona, uh, easily into the 90s. Actually, we think those locations will see triple digits, especially the Inland Empire, easily 100 to 105 degrees. Uh, lasting much of the week. Temps will trend down late in the week, but almost not even noticeable. It's just going to stay hot and really dry in those valley regions and, of course, the deserts as well. So that is our concern next week is the heat. And along with that, because of that dry vegetation, uh, fire weather concerns, which looks to be uh, most critical on Monday. And we'll have to see how uh, trends look in the models for Tuesday. But right now, Monday looks to be the really day where we're concerned about the Santa Ana wind potential. Uh, so yeah, get ready for the heat. Fall here, Southern California style, and uh, no rain in sight. We're, we're looking out on the horizon, uh, hopeful to see some rain not happening yet. We'll let you know when that does. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe.